Husqvarna, zero turns, lawn tractors, walk behinds, handhelds, and auto mowers. All at Hometown Motors Incorporated. Buy it here, get it serviced here. Hometown Motors Incorporated, 818 Eastern Avenue, Chillicothe. We are joined by Mike Barron, the Director of Athletics for Chillicothe High School. I'm Dan Ramey. We're coming to you from our Hometown Motors Incorporated studios. But uh, let's head over to CHS as uh, you've got something special coming up. It is uh, open nomination time for the Athletic Hall of Fame, isn't it, Mike? Yes, it is. Every, uh, every fall about this time, uh, we make announcements at the football, the last home football games, and we put out on social media that we're accepting nominations for the next Athletic Hall of Fame class. A lot of folks always ask around time that we have the induction ceremonies, well, how do I get uh, someone nominated to be in the Hall of Fame? And that's usually where the questions start to arise. Uh, you've got several ways that people can make a nomination. Is that correct? Sure. The, the most labor intensive would be to actually come in to the athletic office and Mrs. Hitchens has forms, nomination forms uh, up front. We also have the um, nomination forms available on our athletics website, the nomination forms for CHS uh, Athletic Hall of Fame. So you can access them there and, and print them off um, and and send them in. You recently have uh, made a modification to the display that people see when they come to Hatton Memorial Gymnasium, and you've got more people in the Hall of Fame. The, the classes have been getting bigger every uh, year, so that just far less real estate, really, to, to put and honor those folks that have been in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, that was really the, you know, the primary reason for the modification is when I came here and in 2015, our superintendent at the time, John Saxton, wanted to kind of resurrect an annual uh, nomination and induction into the Athletics Hall of Fame. So I looked at where we were putting the framed photos and information, and I said, we don't have enough room to do many more people. So, you know, we started on a project. We, we spoke to, um, you know, there are companies now that, that have these video boards, uh, touchscreen video boards where it can be interactive. You can put information on there. Um, and, and so what we've done is every year we've uh, taken information and put it into the touchscreen video board. And as you know, when we induct people, we have a series of four or five questions plus your discretion, you know, to carry on a conversation with them. And, and the intent is, um, to uh, put those onto the video board to kind of be interactive and for people that didn't know the athlete that has been inducted, you kind of get a feel um, like they're talking to you. And then the last part of the project, and, and this is probably um, the thing that people notice the most, is we've taken the, the large framed uh, photos down for the most part, um, and replace them with smaller plaques that have pictures and a, the, the, the identity of the inductee and what sports they played here. And we've put those in the Hatton Gym uh, lobby. And then we, we hired uh, Pam Kello to come in and paint on the wall, uh, organize these by decade. So it's kind of neat. You can come in and, and the two identifiers are for the, the male inductees, the C with cross swords is in blue and for the female it's in white. So that's one way of quickly identifying um, inductees on the wall. And then of course the second way is the, the decade. So it kind of tells you, and, and we, we organized it mostly by high school graduation date and, and not um, induction date. So there's, you know, there's two other things that, that I wanted to mention is in, in our rich uh, athletic history at Chilcothy High School, we, we did uh, save some of the frame photos. And if you, when you enter the lobby, if you look up uh, on the, the higher wall, Chilcothy has an Olympic champion um, in 
NBA Hall of Fame All-Star, uh, an NFL, and a Major League Baseball. And so we've put them all um, up high to go along with our 2008 Ohio State champion basketball team. Um, so that's kind of, a, um, you, you know, a highlight, I think, that we haven't, um, we haven't done away with all of the large frame photos. The second thing that I wanted to mention, if there are people out there who have a relative uh, who are in the Hall of Fame, um, or if there are Hall of Famers out there that had a large framed photo that was up, we are contacting people to give those back to the inductee or to, to the families now that we have all the, uh, uh, most all the plaques, uh, smaller plaques up. And we may as well use this moment to uh, extend an invitation to people to sit down and talk with us as well. I, I will tell you that uh, one of the coolest things I've gotten to be involved with, other than seeing many of these people live <laughs> and play in their high school days, is a chance to sit down and reconnect with them and talk about them with their life after, uh, after leaving Chillicothe or those who still reside in the Chillicothe area. It's nice to maintain that connection because once a Cavalier, always a Cavalier. Right. And, and as the, you know, as an outsider, it's, it's nice for me to meet uh, the inductees each year and the people that, that are already in that, that come back because I hear stories, you know, from our alumni, from our teachers and coaches about, uh, these men and women, and to me, there's there's nothing to put with it because I wasn't here. So so now, when we have these ceremonies and I get to meet them, I feel the same way that you do. To the listeners out there, there are really two aspects to the Hall of Fame. There's the traditional Hall of Fame, which are our coaches and athletes, um, primarily, uh, who get inducted on their you know performance. And then we have a kind of a second category, Award of Merit, which is open to, it's primarily community members um, who just have spent a lot of time and effort supporting Chillicothe athletics. So I think the bylaws uh, only allow one Award of Merit each year, but we've been trying to identify those people and recognize them that have done so much for Chilcothy athletics over the years. Yeah. And it's, it's easier to help the committee. Uh, if you make those nominations and uh, if you were a big supporter in the 1960s, then maybe we, we have not learned about, or maybe it's posthumous. Uh, here's an opportunity to uh, remember that individual or that group of people, and uh, especially like teams and, and things of that sort. There's several teams in the Hall of Fame as well. Uh, so keep those things in mind when you're making your nominations for uh, those people to be involved. Uh, your 2021 event is coming up in late January, right? Yes, we try and, and schedule it on a Saturday um, in the event that we have people coming from out of town. And, and we typically do it in connection with one of our home uh, varsity boys basketball games. So um, I found just in talking to the visiting teams, I know one year it was Upper Arlington, they, they actually really enjoyed uh, coming out of the locker room, sitting, the team sitting in their chairs and, and their fans, you know, enjoyed watching um, our, our athletes be in, inducted. This year, it's going to be, it's scheduled right now. We, of course, we don't really know what this winter's going to be athletically, but we've scheduled it for the St. Charles uh, prep home game. I think it's uh, January 30th. So we've got uh, nominations coming in. We will take a look at those as a committee. Uh, uh, full disclosure, I'm on the selection committee for this as well uh, uh, with some really good people, uh, people that have been involved with CHS Athletics uh, as teachers and coaches uh, for a number of years. And I've uh, got a good group of people to make the right decisions. So if you want to make a nomination, make sure you get that in. Uh, is there a deadline on, on the nomination? Well, we're trying to... Uh, get our committee together in mid-October and usually it's a couple meetings because we we talk about the nominations that 
come in. And if we need to do any more uh, research to get more information on people, then we'll have a follow-up meeting um, where the 10 people that are on the committee, I'm actually just um, kind of an ex officio, I don't vote, but those 10 voting members at a second meeting typically will, will vote um, on the nominees for that year. That gives us, you know, if we finish it by the end of October, that gives us a couple months to get hold of the people and for them to make arrangements um, to come to, of course, we have a reception that we have in Cox Gym uh, during the game, and then the actual induction ceremony is between the JV and the varsity games. Yeah. So uh, once again, make sure you make your nominations so that the committee will have uh, some applicants to go across. And there's always someone who uh, you might have last January saw that class go in and say, what about this guy or this gal? Uh, Make that nomination now so that the committee will have uh, some to review.